legends like Bobo coming in here giving you that them stories like he been mm-hmm. having them stories he could have gave them stories up that's right like, yeah we on boss talk one on one yeah we gonna talk show him the history but even you having even having legends like Bobo coming in here giving you that them stories like he been mm-hmm. having them stories he could have gave them stories up that's right like that's why it's like I think it had to be a comfortable spot though it's most yeah. definitely he done watched it he done, he had to no he did he, could he come. called me and this was the first place he came and did interviews yeah he didn't go home. nowhere else that's love like cause he got he got all the stories yeah mm-hmm. yeah and he loved Bob we talked daily we talked today for a while then mm-hmm. <laughs> we go we chopped it up because I'm gonna be honest I told you I'm a PMC fanatic so yeah. when that nigga call I'm like whatever going on stop this nigga got my ear nigga what you mm-hmm. say really we be talking like that so but at the end of the day he just a dope guy man that I think he's gonna go far he feel to start his podcast I'm pretty soon and I just know he feel to go in mm-hmm. he got a lot of stuff in man. the pipes and, and developing and that's a lot of stuff that we're doing you know we really staging the fact that he about to come on the scene and it about to be a whole whole nother outlet yeah. I think Dallas is one of the most creative media basis yeah. that, that people have and we don't realize that. Sometimes you can't see the picture from being in the picture. Exactly. There's a lot of people here, dope people here. When you look at the Dallas Global, when you look at uh real life street stars, mm-hmm. when you look at uh uh what tune is he moved to Houston, but mm-hmm. when you look at Big D the Mogul, like mm-hmm. all of the stay cheese T V, mm-hmm. all that stuff out of here, man, and you don't really see that kind of stuff going on in other cities that deep and mm-hmm. embedded. Atlanta's somewhat like getting like it too though. So you just gotta look and see what's going on but I think Dallas has one of the most demanding and promoting like bloggers and and because I ain't mentioned all the blog you got Trill Talk no Peel Talk you got a lot of people lot man of people. that's doing this that's and they putting all these got stories different out here. fan bases that exactly, exactly. If, you can, if you can tap in with each one of them you can cover so much ground you, mm-hmm. just everybody gonna tapping see you. in with them folks everybody gonna see you they gonna see you man and no, that's the thanks. dope part man so I know you have been on did, wasn't you on Breakfast Brothers uh, the TV yeah, yeah, show yeah I went on that and when you went on that TV show you know we followed it up mm-hmm. we been on there so you know we right behind you yeah yeah that's <laughs> right it's a, it's, a dope, it's a dope experience though shout out to Rick man Rick, man. Rick dope man yeah Rick put it together yeah. man so so I mean, I love the energy in there too. I actually took the set and interviewed him down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm that but one. The set was live too, though. Correct. Mm-hmm. That's why yeah, I wanted to get live. that scene. I wanted yeah. to get that whole scene. I said, "All right, let me do you down here." Why? Because he been on the show. Okay. But let me get out here with these cameras. Let me get out here with this backdrop. Let me let me get you on film. Yeah. While when our show come out, I can go and put yours out. With hours, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that'd be dope. But just thinking outside the box, bro. That's mm-hmm. it. You know, most people can't just pick up like that, but I got a dope wife that she got my back and we mm-hmm. can put these cameras together anywhere. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, y'all hustling. Like I told bro. you, I see y'all moving, grooving. Y'all going bro. across the map, man. Y'all going across. You know how the movies be having the montages with the cart. It, it's it's <laughs> going out. They show the United States and they show the lines with the car following over there. <laughs> they going over there. Yeah, that's how it's going. Yeah, y'all doing For what y'all supposed to be doing. Y'all yeah. hustling. Y'all going, going to the money. We was in New Orleans uh, a few weeks well a month ago months ago and uh, we was with uh, Mac Mac just got out from No Limit uh-huh. I Mac did him is. and then I did uh, a, Project I, Barbie I did Project Barbie Paco I did uh, KLC but the most dopest one I did was Sharani She's the one that started uh, like Birdman. She took she took BG's record and sent it to Universal. She she really? get deal with deal. P mm-hmm. and, and and Baby. That's that they, and she's a store, the record store in New Orleans, where because back then nobody wanted to deal with rap, rap music, because they yes. thought it was too dangerous. It was too ghetto. It was too. You see what yeah. I mean? So she was like, "No, what are you talking about?" So everybody had to go through her stores. Yeah, man. She's had what four of. stores, so yeah. she'd been around for a very long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, she a staple. Okay. And that's that's that was what we did our interviews at too. It's just dope to when you when they embrace you in the city like that. But it's dope when you got when you when you go to, to get the information and you approach it knowing like the history, like like what y'all even giving me that like she got these stores, y'all gonna go do it at these stores. What you tell me you finna go do in, in, in the sh- shot. In the shot, yeah. It's like d- 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 where where you gonna be at? The, it's it's just building that that I don't know, it's a, it's a suspense thing there as well, because it's like this is where I don't know. I just I don't know. I'm real into like, but you have to be to like me. That. You have to be older or a certain respect, frame of man. mind a to, certain to, thing, to man. really no, exactly. respect it and really know what 
it carries because this younger generation with all these young kids coming up rapping doing music they don't care about history they don't care about a lot but of they'll that stuff. watch it if you embrace it the way that it need to be embraced it's like mixing a gumbo up if you put it together right yeah they'll look at it and, and i always say I you can't get everybody. everybody you no. know what i'm saying some 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 of these youngsters they they don't want to it's cool this ain't that ain't y'all target audience yeah. you know what i'm saying y'all target audience it's, it's, it's a bunch of people that maybe haven't seen it. Like you said, them, mm-hmm. them folks that when it's when they see it served up and, 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 and packaged a certain way, you can get them. That's right. Like the other you know ones, they probably it, lost. You but know you know I mean? how you just want it? Being good people, you want to touch the mass. You want to touch everybody because yeah. even although it might not be your forte, for you to know where you come from, know your history. Because as long as you black, you need to know this stuff. No, facts. You understand what I mean? But some people don't care. But you need to know your history. A lot of people just living to die. Because they're not teaching it in schools. No, nah, for sure so they're not teaching it in schools. You need to figure out how to learn it. Yeah. But I can tell you right now, like I said, with people like Bobo, Steve B. Lowe, uh, different people that have been in Dallas that mm-hmm. really love Dallas. This nigga live and breathe Dallas. Mm-hmm. I was rocking in Houston with Bun mm-hmm. B. Neal. But nigga, I'm a Dallas nigga from heart. Snake and all these other niggas. Man, this nigga is the one. Like, he's going to be that one that can also feel these gaps where these youngsters can look back at the history and then know how to push forward a little mm-hmm. better. You know what I mean? So you, we just need to go to work. That's what I look at. Yeah. Uh, if we go to work, we can lay it and show it out how it is and next thing you know, people can look at it and kind of build from it. You yeah. know? I feel like they get all the information from the stories. That's the beauty of That's this, what it is. this, this um, platform because people can come through here tell a story that nobody heard before. You hear it, you hear it you from somebody that. that's right there. Right that was there. there. That, that's telling you the angle that they was at. And then y'all might get another motherfucker come through here that was there too. And they give you their angle of it. And, and, and now motherfuckers putting the whole story together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.